Descended from dinosaurs, the Komodo dragon and the crocodile are some of the biggest, baddest cold-blooded animals alive today. If they were to cross paths, it wouldn't be a friendly family get-together. Would the Komodo dragon live up to its mythic namesake? Or would the crocodile make a quick meal out of the Komodo dragon? Find out on this Royal Reptile Rumble. It's the Komodo dragon versus the crocodile. Tonight's contenders hail from very different parts of the world, so the chance of them going toe-to-toe -to -toe isn't very likely. But in the versus ring, anything goes. Let's take a closer look at these fighters. At almost three meters long and weighing in at about 90 kilograms, it's the Komodo Dragon! This contender is a unique animal. Of the 3,000 plus species of lizards alive today, the Komodo Dragon is the largest. He's truly one of a kind as Komodos only live on the five islands of Indonesia's Komodo Dragon National Park. They've also got a nickname around the ring as Grave Robbers. Komodo dragons are able to smell dead bodies as far as 10 kilometers away. Their heightened sensory power helps Komodo dragons find and dig up the recently deceased so they can feed on their rotting flesh. Now that's a seriously hardcore reputation. But is it enough to scare off our next fighter? He grows up to almost twice the length of his competition at almost six meters long and weighs over 900 kilograms. You know him, you love him, and hot off of last week's win, it's the Crocodile! Crocodiles have been around for thousands of years. They have 23 species now, but there were many more during the Cretaceous period. They're semi-aquatic and like to hunt in the water. Able to hold their breath underwater for an hour, these creatures really blend into their environment. With the Komodo dragon taking the land and the crocodile taking the water, let's see who's going to get this fight started. Round one, who makes the first move? With his heightened sense of smell, the Komodo dragon's fiery yellow forked tongue taste tests the air and senses any rotting flesh. The coast looks clear. Meanwhile, the crocodile has been hiding in plain sight since before this fight began. He's patient and sneaky, blending into his environment and looking like a floating log. Crocodiles have slow metabolisms and can go for months without food. So this contender won't have any trouble waiting for the right moment to strike. Whoa, he's a fast one. This crafty croc used his ability to wait for the perfect moment to attack. And by using that advantage, he takes the first round. Round two, strength and skills. The Komodo dragon instantly gnashes his teeth at the oncoming croc. His measly maximum bite force is only about 100 kilopascals. That's tanked by the crocodile's massive choppers, which can clamp down at up to 34,500 kilopascals. But the Komodo dragon has a secret weapon. While his bite lacks strength, he makes up for it in venom as they use their shark-like teeth to shred their victim's skins and muscles, the venom infects the wounds and causes the prey to bleed without stopping. This causes shock and kills the prey within a day. Yeesh. Although crocodiles are used to hunting venomous creatures like snakes, this adversary isn't some slithery lightweight. It's a big, bad Komodo dragon. He's biting into the crocodile, injecting his venom. Round two goes to the Komodo dragon, but he's going to have to work hard to make it out of this fight on top. 
this fight isn't over yet, and even if the dragon doesn't survive it, his venom could take a toll on the crocodile within the next day, making the outcome of this fight a post-mortem win for the Komodo dragon. Let's see how our fearsome fighters fare in round three. Round three, speed. Komodo dragons have a pretty fast running speed of over 21 kilometers per hour, meaning this fighter could outrun the crocodile's top speed of just under 18 kilometers per hour. But the crocodile has the home field advantage. In this watery arena, the croc can swim at 32 kilometers per hour. The croc uses it to go in for the finish. Ouch! The Komodo dragon is down for the count! The winner of round three and the fight is the crocodile! He earned the title of world's baddest reptile. The croc's stealthy attack landed the first bite and its enormous brute force strength overpowered his opponent. Would a Komodo dragon fare better against another reptile? We'll see the Komodo go up against an anaconda next time on Versus.